I am back with another DIY, this lovely doormat that I've been seeing floating around social media. Stay tuned so I can show you guys how to make it. Show you guys in Cricut Design Space of how to make the doormat that I made. All right, first you're going to go over to text and type in whatever text you want. Now, since my mat says, I know, all caps, I know you're freaking lying. We're gonna move that up. I'm going to hit unlock because when you unlock it, you can move it however you want. I'm going to make that pretty big. And I'm going to lock it back so it can lock the dimensions back in place so it won't be moving around. Now, I'm going to ungroup these. When you ungroup them, it pits each letter on its own layer. I want to move the I over a little bit because I think it's too close to the K. I'm just going to move that over just a little bit. I'm going to move the L over a little bit and the F just a smidge. Okay, I know that's small, but I really want them to be spaced out a little bit to let people know that there are abbreviations and not one word. So since I'm done with that, I'm going to highlight my whole text and I'm going to attach them to make them as one so when I do go to move it again it's not moving each individual letter now the bottom part is going to say pop in p-o-p-p-i-n up here okay now this is going to be below that I'm just going to stretch this out just a little bit. Oops, I forgot to hit unlock. Now you can change the font however you want to change it. Um, just for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to leave it as is. I think that looks good. Oops. Let me lock that. All right, I think that looks good. Now, just for visual purposes, we want to see how it will look on the mat. So I'm going to hit the square, unlock again, more at the top, and we're going to do the width as 30 because our mat is 18 by 30, so the width is 30, and the height is 18. We're going to lock that in place. So that's how big the mat will be. I minimize this to 25 so it can be a little small. Let's put that mat right here. I'm gonna hit more. No, not more. I'm gonna hit arrange and move it to the back. So did I do that one? No, let me hit this one. Arrange, move forward. Okay. You know what? I forgot to put these all together. Wow. So if you do that like me, let me move this square out the way because I forgot a step. Sorry, guys. I need to weld this all together. And what that does is make it as a image. I think that looks good. Select it all. And I'm going to hit weld. So that I can make it as an image. Okay, so now you can see right here it's like as an image now. I'm gonna move my mat right here. I'm just gonna change the color just for visual purposes to brown. That way I can see how it will fit on the mat. 
I think that'll look good. I think that'll look good in the mat. I'm gonna go ahead and exit out the mat. Now, since we're gonna be cutting this image on a 12 by 12 um, mat, I'm gonna hit the square again. Now, the biggest you can cut on a 12 by 12 mat is 11 and, and a half by 11 and a half. So I'm gonna go ahead and unlock that again. Hit more. I'm gonna make my width 11 and a half and my height 11 and a half. Lock it. I'm gonna move that over. Matter of fact, I'm going to hit arrange and move it back so we can see. I'm going to put it like that. And what you're gonna do is select just the box. Just the, oh, no. Select the box. And hit slice. And what that does is put it as two different images. See, you can move that. You can see that it's sliced. We're gonna go ahead and exit out that. Ooh. How do I go back? Let's move that down. Exit out of that. Now I slice it up as two different images. Go ahead and put that back together. Okay, from here, you can go ahead and make it. Now you can see that it's sliced. This part will be only one of your 12 by 12 sheets, and this other part will be by your other 12 by 12 sheet. Click to make it. And now you can see that is two different images. All right, we're gonna start with loading our vinyl onto our 12 by 12 mat. We're gonna put it in our Cricut machine and start letting it cut the stencil out. Don't worry about the color of it, guys, because you're not gonna necessarily put this on anything. You're just using it as a stencil to lock in the, you know, the letters per se. I am now doing the second 12 by 12 mat with my other piece of my stencil. And after this is done, I'll show you guys how to stick them together. Okay, so now that you have both of your stencils cut out, you're going to peel it away from the mat. I'm going to take my scissors and start cutting some of this excess vinyl off that I'm not going to need. Um, and also, you guys remember I did have to slice it to fit the 12 by 12 mat. So I do have to cut really, really close to the Y to make sure they fit together like a puzzle piece. Now take your weeding tool and start taking out the letters. Um, this process is very tedious. I kind of do not like it, but you know it is what it is like you can see it come together it looks awesome so I'm kind of excited to see how it's gonna look out and plus this is my first time using a Cricut machine so yeah so this is what my stencil looks like after I'm done weeding I did need to cut a little closer to the Y so I just did that off camera now it looks really good next you're gonna be taking your transparent paper and measuring it as the same length as your stencil You're gonna take your stencil now and lay it on the sticky side of your transparent paper. Now your first portion is gonna go on your right hand side, and your 
your second portion is going to go on the left hand side. All right, take your little smoothing tool and just smooth it out. You want it to be as smooth as possible, no bumps or anything. Okay, now I know I said no bumps, but I'm coming into a little bit of complications here, but it's okay, just keep going. I am going to be taking off the back of my vinyl paper very slowly. Now, I know you guys are wondering, hey, it's reading backwards, what's going on? I'll show you in a minute how it's gonna be put on this rug, okay? Just wait, just wait. Now you see I'm just flipping it over, laying it flat on my mat. Make sure you lay it down correctly how you want it because it is sticky and you don't want it to keep picking it up and picking it up. So right now I'm just smoothing it down on my mat and then I'm going to be lifting up my contact paper so that my stencil is laying flat on my rug. Make sure you are lifting this up slowly because I was kind of running into some complications putting this on here because it kept on coming up and getting my stencils a little crooked. But you know, just do it slow. You know, slow and steady wins the race. It's not a sprint, you know, it's a marathon. Just take your time. Keep the contact paper that you guys did lift up because you're gonna be reusing that. Don't throw it away. You're gonna surround the edge of your stencil with it. That way when you go to spray your stencils on your rug, you won't get your rug, you know, wet with it. Here are the two products you'll be using, some leak seals, a flexible rubber coating, and then top it off with the clear enamel. Now it's time to spray paint that baby. This is like, you know, you almost done. Let me just spray it. I'm almost done with my fancy rug. Yeah, made by yours truly. You know, you're gonna be very proud of it. Just spray, don't matter how you do it, just as long as you get it. Here she is, you know, I messed up a little bit on my eye, but that's okay, cause it's a doormat. People's feet is going to be on it. It don't matter. It's cute and it's funny. And remember, if you don't want to buy it, just DIY it.